Okay, two things I want to get across first. One, if you have seen any other reviews on this movie where they crap all over it, don't start watching my video. Second of all, I do realize this movie was built on a book that uh, is generated towards girls uh, 12 to, I believe, 16. So anyway, Twilight. Oh, God. Uh, basically, this movie is boring, dull, and uninteresting. The premise could have been good, I think, if we would have had some somewhat interact interesting characters, and if they did just straight up uh, took take the book and put it on a movie screen I was just really not entertained so basically we have a new girl Bella who moves into a small town uh, he's, she's making friends and la dee da dee da and uh, she runs into this guy Edward they fall in love Edward keeps pushing her away until she finds out he's a vampire and she embraces him for what he is. This leads to the most boring movie I have ever seen in my life. The one positive thing I gotta say is that it's not it's not offensively bad. Like I gotta figure that I had this coming to me when I spent sixteen ninety nine on this movie used, I was about to t pay twenty six. I swear to God, the lady at the cash re register saved me ten bucks. To you, I say thank you, because this is one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my life. Because nothing happens, nothing really pushes the plot forward. Nothing interesting ever happens, and it keeps teasing you that you're gonna see them kiss or whatever then it the camera pulls away so you don't ever see it I cannot connect with any of the characters because of how stiff they were like could you show at least somewhat of an emotion so uh... what else is bad in this movie. Oh yeah, lead actor and actress. I forgot who freaking plays in this movie I, and I couldn't care either. But uh, these two are the stiffest actors I have ever seen in my life. I don't care how the book was written. But these two are just stiff, emotionless and just in general boring. I think they went the wrong way with this instead of turning this into a complete teenage angst uh, movie. Uh, they could have gone in the direction of something like a Romeo and Juliet or a Princess Bride kind of deal uh, where they could have took the premise of Twilight. You know, let, let's tweak this, with, tweak that. So it's actually watchable, not only for girls, but for guys. But seriously, I am not a complete fucking mindless action that job. I do appreciate the good romance. Uh, I absolutely love the tragedy you known as Romeo and Juliet. I like uh, the Princess Bride. It, but shit like this and shit like the romance in Final Fantasy VIII is unacceptable because you root for a romance that is that if it actually happens is you know, I'll be like oh god why the fuck did you fall for each other seriously Edward is a douche Bella is a freaking airhead who cannot see that he doesn't want her but she's like yeah, it's freaking love at first sight. Yada yada yada. 
Uh, she's a freaking airhead. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, empty, completely empty brain. Falls for the first guy that he sees that he's actually got a shot at. Now, it sits around the whole vampire mythology, which I'm also a fan of, which this also screws up. So basically, to kill a vampire, you need to rip them apart and burn them. Now, okay, traditionally, vampires either die from holy water, sunlight, stake to the heart, and uh, that's about it. I'm not sure if there's any more. Bring them up if you know any more. In Twilight, if they're in the sunlight, they sparkle, which is the cheesiest sparkle freaking uh, I have ever seen in my life. I'm like, no, this is not the new evolution of the f of freaking Dracula. This is uh, a step backwards from taking actual interesting kind of mythology and making it bullshit. They're, they're still superhuman. They still live forever. They still have super speed and whatnot. But I'm not going to accept this. I'm going to be hard pressed to ever accept this. And there's going to be sequels to this. If it's going to be this stiff, I don't want to see them. So this overall this movie was just boring it's not entertaining in the slightest the only person who I ever saw give a good review was spill.com and they pitched about the ending I can care uh, you know what the ending pretty much told me you have suffered for long enough we're gonna come back we're gonna rape you of 20 bucks again and you're gonna sit through it like a little bitch of a fucking critic So, the biggest points, yeah, I've covered them all. Boring, stiff acting. Oh yeah, there's about 30 seconds worth of footage that I actually thought was pretty cool. The whole scene where they're, like, uh, jumping from tree to tree, and it gives you a good sense of being in the eyes of uh, Edward. That's about it. That's the only thing I could come up with. And also, that's not offensively bad. Everything else just screams, okay, we know what our target our audience is. We're not going to try by. So let's just make the most stiffest, boring movie based off of a book that the girls are going to keep coming back for this garbage. Overall, Twilight is a void at all cost. If you want to watch something as stiff as if you want to see something as stiff as this, I suggest you uh, stare at a wall. At least you'll be with yourself with your own thoughts. I w would not ever want to watch this movie ever again. I don't care if I lose a bet or anything like that. There's nothing you can do to make me watch this ever again. Twilight I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast you off along with the Twilight of the Gods. Actually, that wasn't that bad of a plot idea, Cena. With the two out of ten. I'm sorry that I rambled for so long, but and also go ahead, blame me for the two out of ten for Twilight. Like, send me hate mail. I'll just wrap it up in it. Video, and I'll just laugh my ass off through the entire thing. So I'll be seeing y'all later.